Facebook Live, Facebook Live. We have arrived one more time, y'all. Let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Derek Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on the early will I seek this with study and prayer line. <clears throat> On this uh, um, 10th day in May of 2023. <clears throat> Y'all, let's, let's get it in. Hallelujah. Yosef, good to see you in here. Holding it down like you do. My mom is in here. Matty Yahoo's in the building. Al Mal, my pal. And Son Neil is up in here. Uh, I see uh, Rhonda Ponder is in the building. Hallelujah. Nicole and uh, Keisha. Keisha in the building. Good to see you, Keisha. <laughs> Beverly, sis, how you doing? Uh, <coughs> excuse me. What's up, Rhonda Ponder? <laughs> Shalom, shalom, shalom. <laughs> Allergies attacking me right now. Woo. <laughs> it's going to be good, though. We in the... Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Who Are They series, part two. <laughs> See my big brothers in here. What's up with it, G? And Nicole Robinson. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. The attack is on. <sighs> but here we go. Um. <laughs> Excuse me. Genesis 15, 12. <laughs> Teresa in the building. JB. Trenda. Leslie Sutton. Gotcha. Woo. Let's get it in, y'all. Get this prayer in, huh? Gotcha. Woo. Bree, would it be? Leslie Sutton. See, um... Excuse me. Wow. We all raised together, right? So, y'all get to see me go through my changes. Oh, boy. Mother Katie, good to see you in here. Normally, a person will be tripping and want to edit this out. Excuse me. Wow. Shalom, shalom. Anyway. Do the wrong, uh, no, 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 no. Genesis 15. Wow, that was rough. And I'm not done. Genesis 15, 12. Look what it says. It told you up on Teresa. Was you on Facebook Live when it happened to you? <laughs> hey, they be, they be spraying us, putting stuff in the food, the water. We're dealing with a real interesting people, y'all. Denise Wilkins, good to see you in here. Give me one second, y'all. Logan is in the building. Hold on, y'all.
y'all. Here we go. <clears throat> Genesis 15, 12. We'll rock with this as a base scripture. Barbara, good to see you in here. You mean a Yahoo? Pocato, everybody. Genesis 15, 12. Um, <clears throat> as the sun was setting, Abram fell into a deep sleep. <clears throat> and a thick and dreadful darkness came over him. Then Yahuwah said to him, know for certain, know for certain, y'all, without question, know for certain that for 400 years your descendants will be strangers in the country, not their own, and that they will be enslaved and mistreated there. But I will punish the nation that they serve as slaves. And afterward, they will come out with great possessions. Are y'all with me? Latricia Johnson, Boca Thug. <clears throat> y'all with me? So, <clears throat> yesterday, we was able to look at um, the misunderstanding in um, Acts Acts um, 7, right? Where people get it wrong. Let's just peek at it right quick. One more time. Sliding in here. <clears throat> Acts 7 and 1. Look at this. Look what this say. And then the high priest asked Stephen, are these charges true? And to this he replied, brothers and sisters, listen to me. The Elohim of glory appeared unto our father Abraham while he was still in Mesopotamia before he lived in Haran. <clears throat> Leave, and that's in Genesis 11 chapter, y'all, just so you know. Leave your <clears throat> country and your people, said Yah, and go to a land I will show you. And he, and, and he left the land of the Chaldeans and settled in Haran. And after the death of his father, Yah sent him to this land where you are now living. And he gave him no inheritance here, no, not even enough ground to set his foot on. But Yah promised him that his descendants after him will possess the land, even though at the time, uh, Abraham had no child, <clears throat> and Yah spoke to him in this way for 400 years. We just read it, right? For 400 years, your descendants will be strangers in the country, not their own, and they will be enslaved and mistreated. But I will punish the nation uh, that, that, that they serve as slaves, Yah said, and afterward, they will come up out of that country and worship me in this place. <clears throat> then he gave Abraham uh, the covenant of circumcision and Abraham became the father of Isaac and, 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 and Jacob and, 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 the, and, the, and the 12 patriarchs, right? And because uh, the patriarchs were jealous of Joseph, they sold him uh, um, as slaves into Egypt but Yah was with him and rescued him from all his troubles, right? <clears throat> because, Tia, good to see you in here. But because, <clears throat> um, Acts, the seventh chapter, 10th verse, <clears throat> but because he started to explain about Egypt in 400 years, people assumed, assumed, that the 400 years was equated to this Egyptian captivity, and it wasn't. <clears throat> Pastor Kim Tinsley, good to see you in here. Uh, who are they? Uh, part two. We're in Acts, the seventh chapter. It's easy to assume that, but you got to pump your brakes. You got to pump your brakes to get, to get an understanding. He literally went through the history from Abraham, starting Abraham all the way through to 
the Egyptian captivity. He never said that this was the 400 years. Never. He didn't even insinuate it. People just assumed that because we've been taught that in our captivity. We've been taught that the 400 year dream of Abraham had been satisfied in the Egyptian captivity. But as I told y'all uh, yesterday uh, and showed you in uh, Galatians uh, 3 and 17, that the promise was given to Abraham in Genesis, the 15th chapter, same chapter with the dream, the nightmare that, that his children would, would be enslaved and mistreated for 400 years in a strange land. He entered into the covenant agreement with him in the same chapter up at the top of 15. He entered into uh, the covenant in, 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 in Galatians 3 and 17. It, it says that uh, the covenant agreement that he entered into with Abraham does not, uh, uh, it still stands because it was given as a promise. And the law given 430 years later cannot nullify that. So you had to do the math from the giving of the promise to Abraham to the giving of the law <clears throat> to Mo Moshe at Mount Sinai. Well, Mount Sinai happened after they were rescued out of Egypt. So you got to do the math. You got 430 years to play with <laughs> from the giving of the promise to the giving of the law. He didn't have no children. He had to have um, <clears throat> Isaac, then Jacob, then Jacob had to have 12 sons prior to entering into Egypt. How many years did that take? How many years did it take for Abraham to have Isaac and then Isaac to have Jacob and then Jacob have 12 sons and then they had to get old enough for Joseph to come join his brethren and then they got jealous of him or they was already jealous of him, but they took out their jealousy on him and, 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 and had him uh, sold off into slavery in Egypt. And then he had to go from Potiphar's house to prison, from prison to the palace and then, and then there was a famine, and then he had to send for them, and then they had to move in there, and then they had to all die before he, uh, a taskmaster came, a pharaoh came that didn't like, didn't respect uh, Joseph and mistreat him. That's all that had to happen within 430 years. So the first half of the 430 years had to be Abraham having children, <clears throat> and his son uh, had to have his grandchildren. Are y'all with me? That was hundreds of years in and of itself. That does not satisfy the 400 years. So then when you further begin to understand what Stephen is preaching to them, then you go down to the 43rd verse and it says, the Most High is upset with them. It says, you have taken up the tabernacle of Molech right? And the star of your God, Riffin, the idols you made to worship. Therefore, I will send you into exile beyond Babylon. <clears throat> the average person don't understand that. Don't catch that part. <coughs> Excuse me. Frank, good to see you in here. Banks is in the building. Beyond Babylon. That They, they didn't catch that part. Because beyond Babylon is where, to be honest with you, is where the 400 years took place. Egypt wasn't the 400 years. Beyond Babylon is where the 400 years uh, jumped off. Are y'all with me? Now let's, let's look at this. Since we're dealing with beyond Babylon, let's go to... Uh, Zephaniah, right quick. Zephaniah 3. And let's begin at the 8th verse. Zephaniah 3. 
we already dealt with beyond Babylon in Isaiah 18. To where it's going to be some folks with ships. Right? Associated with a land shadowing with wings. What a coincidence. Don't the ego got wings? For let's, let's look at uh, 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 Zephaniah 3 and 8 this time. <clears throat> look what it say. Therefore wait up. Wait ye upon me, says Yahuwah, until the day that I will rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation. <clears throat> Why is he gathering the nations to pour out his indignation? Right? even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. For then will I turn to my people and purge their language. He's turning back to his people and purge their language, right? And they shall call uh, <clears throat> upon the name of Yahuwah to serve him with one consent. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, gathering y'all. For beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my my uh, suppliants, even the daughter of my disperse. Who's the daughter of his disperse? We're the daughters and sons of his disperse. We're the children of the disperse. Oh, oh okay, the children of Israel is the children of the dispersed. Is that fair? Oh yeah, we talking. For beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my suppliants, even the daughters of my dispersed. So his children that he dispersed in his anger, right? The, 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 the children of the dispersed is who he gonna gather. He gonna rescue them. That's what this is saying. Tim Sype, good to see you in here, sir. We're in Zephaniah 3 and 10 right now. <clears throat> He's going to rescue his children. Yeah. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. Did y'all look up? Did y'all look up Ethiopia yesterday? Did y'all Google? I asked y'all to Google. It, does, did anyone Google Ethiopia River? Did y'all look it up? Put a one in here if you if you looked it up and saw. Tamika LaShawn, good to see you in here. Did y'all look it up? <clears throat> Who looked it up yesterday? Google. Anyone? My mom did. Anyone else? Did anyone Google the Ethiopian River, right? To find out that the Atlantic Ocean is the Ethiopian river that the Bible is talking about. Did you see, Trinda, did you see that the Atlantic Ocean, the Atlantic slave trade was really the Ethiopian slave trade, like the Bible is depicted? And the Most High is going to gather his children? No, Nicole. Literally Ethiopia. With a with an A, <clears throat> but all you had to do was put in the Ethiopian River, and it would show you Ethiopia with an A in front of the E. The Atlantic slave trade is really what Isaiah eighteen is talking about, and what Zephaniah is talking about. <clears throat> the Ethiopian uh, River is the, the is beyond Babylon. <laughs> Yeah, if you look at the map, if you pull up a map, you thought it was the Atlantic slave trade. See, I need to... <clears throat> That's why I need to start doing a blog as, as opposed to on this platform so I can start to navigate and um, show you all the maps myself. But if y'all were to look up 
the Ethiopian River, if you Google it, you'll find that the river, the Atlantic Ocean, isn't the original name. It's the Ethiopian River, the Ethiopian Ocean. That's what it is. And when the Bible is talking about, uh, 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 the, when it called it the Atlantic slave trade, it's really the Ethiopian slave trade, if we're going to name it by the water like they did. Are y'all with me? And the Ethiopian River led to the Americas. Just so you know. <clears throat> I'll give y'all some homework again. When you get a chance, look up uh, the Ethiopian River or Ocean. And you'll find that it's it's actually, they changed the name to the Atlantic Ocean. Okay. Um, Ze uh, Zephaniah 3, 8 through 10, Akisha. And also throw in there Isaiah 18. And I'll read it. Isaiah 18 and 1. KJV, because in, in the NIV it's going to say, Cush, and we know that uh, uh, the, the Ethiopians are the children of Cush, but it'll throw you off a little bit. You you know you got to be watch them how they change names and change stuff, right? <clears throat> so so in the in the, in the KJV, yeah, that would do it. That would do it right there, Teresa. Thank you. Google the Ethiopian Ocean. And you're going to find out that they changed the name from the Ethiopian to, um, to the Atlantic Ocean. So what we would call, you know, the Atlantic slave trade, it's really the Ethiopian slave trade. You got to watch that devil. He's slick. He'll throw you off <clears throat> to deceive the ignorant. <clears throat> Are y'all with me? Isaiah 18 and 1. Woe to, woe to the land shadowing with wings which is beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. They, they tricked us and we think it's beyond the rivers of the Atlantic Ocean they, to throw us off, but it's really uh, the Ethiopian. They changed the name from Ethiopian uh, Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean to throw you off. Are y'all are, are are y'all with me? <clears throat> okay. With that being said, for this series' sake, let's go back to Deuteronomy, y'all, 28. <clears throat> for this series' sake, let's go back. Because we're still dealing with the dream that Abraham had when he said, uh, when the Most High uh, revealed to him, oh, beyond, without question, beyond certainty, that his seed, his children, was going to be mistreated in the land for 400 years. That's like a landmark. That ain't the only... Jacob's trouble, I'm going to tell y'all again, Jacob's trouble is longer than 400 years. Jacob's trouble started right after they said, give us Barabbas, crucify the Messiah. Rome hit Jerusalem after the death of the Messiah. Right? After the death of the Messiah, because they said, give us Barabbas and crucify him. Oh, oh, that wasn't cool. So Rome hit Jerusalem and they've been on a run ever since. They was on a run before they served the 400 years. They was on a run. They was on a run for a long time, longer than 400 years. They, they was on a run, running from the Romans, running through Africa. And they ended up in West Africa where what we know uh, to be uh, the Atlantic slave trade. But now we're seeing that the Atlantic slave trade was really the, the Ethiopian slave trade because they changed the name from the Ethiopian ocean to the Atlantic ocean. And that would throw you off. That's why when you Google the maps, and look up the Ethiopian Ocean, you're going to find out that that's, that's what it was. And they changed the name to the Atlantic Ocean. Are y'all with me? <clears throat> Let's go to Deuteronomy 28 because we're going to deal with 
<laughs> why it happened. 28 and 1. <clears throat> if you fully ob obey, he talked to the <clears throat> he talked to the children of Israel. He just entered into a covenant agreement with them. And he tell them, if you obey me, it's gonna be good, right? If you obey Yah your Elohim and follow his commands that I give you this day, Yah your Elohim will set you high above all nations on earth. When you start studying the Bible, they be coming with this replacement theology. And they use the term church. Upon this church, I will upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it, right? That's what the Messiah said to Peter, right? What was that in Matthew 16? But he said, upon this rock, I will build my church. <clears throat> That's an interesting term I keep telling y'all. Because if you look up church, they'll give you the definition assembly. That's deceitful. Because the real uh, definition of church is cirque. And cirque is <clears throat> sun god worship or assembly of people that worship the sun god. Not the Messiah. Not Yah. The sun god. Pagan worship. That's, that's, what, that's what church really means. If you look at what it really means. Now, I'm trying to give you the deception now. So if you want to know the deception is truthfully, that's a different demographic of people. The Roman Catholics. That's why it's called the Roman Catholic Church. It's a different demographic of people with a different theological position. So the Roman Catholic Church pagan assembly mixed the Hebrew truth, our real history, our history book, they mixed it with paganism. And that's where you get pagan worship mixed in. That's where you get stat statues, you bow down to statues because pagans believe in many gods. So now they erected statues and they changed of the day of worship from the Shabbat, Saturday to the Sunday, sun god worship. That's what the church is. <clears throat> For me to pull on that some more, look it up, it's cirque. Cirque, that's where the circle comes. The root word is cirque, in circle. And that's the circumference of the sun. So it's deceitful when you look up church and it says assembly, they lying. And that's a switch from Israel to another group of people. <clears throat> Don't get it twisted. I'm not saying that the Most High did not open up the Basura to the foreign nations. I'm not saying that because he did. That's not even really new either because anyone that served the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Anyone that served the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right, <clears throat> joined Israel. Yeah, they were able to join Israel. It wasn't like the Most High wasn't hating on foreigners. His chosen people is Israel. Salvation comes through Israel, period. And anyone that wanted to be his children joined Israel. And it's the same today. The deception became when the Roman Catholic Church inserted that term and thereby the birth of replacement theology as if the Most High is finished with Israel. When there is nothing in the Bible, period, right? There's nothing in the Bible, period, <clears throat> that says he entered into a covenant agreement with the church. He never did that. <laughs> he entered into a covenant agreement with Israel. Keisha Beard, you're right. Listen to this. <clears throat> in Jeremiah, 
is the second covenant, for the lack of a better term. Jeremiah 31, 31 through 34, is the renewed covenant. And the difference from the covenant isn't the demographic of people. He made that covenant with Israel. Yeah, he made the covenant with Israel. He said, I will enter into a new covenant with Israel. Are y'all with me? Falcon, good to see you in here. Alina Franklin, good to see you in here. He entered into a new covenant. He said, I will enter into a new covenant with Israel. Not like I did with the forefathers when I took them by the hand and brought them out of Egypt. And then he told you what the difference in the covenant would be. I'm going to write my laws on the tables of their heart and not on stone. The only difference is the Messiah would come and put it in the tables of your heart and not on stone. That's the difference. <clears throat> yeah, we're not under the law. We establish it. Everything that Yah said in the 10 is baptized inside of us now and leading and guiding us into all truth. Are y'all with me? Stay with me now. Falcon in the building. Stay with me. So, <clears throat> back to Deuteronomy 28, y'all. I just had to work that out. All right, Keisha. If you obey Yah the Elohim, 28.1, y'all. Deuteronomy 28.1. If you fully obey Yah the Elohim and carefully follow all his commands that I give you today, uh, Yah your Elohim will set you high above all nations on the earth. You got to understand that. And, and these blessings will come on you and accompany you <clears throat> if you obey Yah the Elohim. You'll be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of thy room will be blessed, right? The, 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 the younger your livestock. Uh, uh, stay with me, y'all. <clears throat> And the lambs, uh, you know, the you, you calves and the lambs of the flock, your basket going to be cool. You know, you coming in and going out going to be cool. He going to have your enemies. He going to let them stab you in the back. He going to make them come forth. And then you're going to defeat them. They're going to come out at, towards you one way, but they're going to be running seven ways trying to get away from you because it ain't going to work out too well for them, right? A first, right? Your barns is going to be blessed, you know, uh, in the, the land, right? Ninth verse, uh, uh, Yah will establish you as a holy people, right? It, it, it's just going to be, it's going to be all good. Twelfth verse, y'all, uh, you know, he going, he going, he going, he going, he going, he going to send the rain. You're going to have plenty of food. I mean, just bless, 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 right? <laughs> long as you keep his commands and don't follow other Elohims. You ain't going to worship nobody else, right? <clears throat> when we get to the 15th verse, it gets interesting because now he said, but if you don't. So the 15th verse say, but if you don't obey me and follow my commandments and my decree that I'm giving you this day, all these curses will come upon you. You're going to be cursed in the city, in the country. Your basket ain't going to be cool. The, fr the, fruit, the fruit of your womb ain't going to be cool. Your crops ain't going to be cool. Your flocks ain't going to be cool. 20th of a verse, right? Uh, curses and confusion, you know, mental, mental, mental illness. <laughs> you know, you, you, you know, you, 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 know, you, you not, it's not going to be good. You know, the 23rd verse say uh, your sky will be bronze and, 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 and your ground is going to be iron. If you if 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 over your head is bronze and up under you is iron, that's a cage, don't it? Don't that sound like a cage? If, if, in fact, you're gonna be in cages, like an animal, right? Yeah. And 25th verse say, y'all gonna cause you to be defeated before your enemies, the same enemies, the same enemies, right? That that was gonna run from you seven ways, you are gonna run from them. You ain't gonna never be able to whoop your enemies. They're going to be over you. It's going to be like a police station or something. It's going to be people with guns and badges and communication. And you just ain't going to be able to deal with it. 
it's just not it's not it's not gonna be cool. I do want to back up right quick. If we go back up to the top when it said that we were supposed to be the financial suppliers of the earth and we would never borrow. And you notice how it's exactly the opposite. Yeah, that's what sin did. Israel, his children turning on him caused them to be the borrowers. <clears throat> caused them, yeah, yeah, everything is reversed. I just want to throw that in there. I could get deeper on that part, but I won't right now. <clears throat> right? When you look at the uh, 30th verse, right? It says you'll get married, but somebody else is going to rape them. Somebody else is going to be raping your wife. If that didn't happen in slavery, what did? Yeah, yeah, you got a wife, a cat just come, him and 12, 12 people can pull up, snatch your wife and your daughters, throw you out the house, put you in the barn, and just have a ball. Do anything they want to to her. With her and some of them like boys, get your little son, jack him up too. Jack you up if you don't like it. Rape you too. <clears throat> oh yeah, y'all not playing. If folks really want to get to know y'all, he ain't nothing to play with. And that's historically proven. Right? But but these is his people. The most high punished the heck out of his disrespectful people. Real talk. Jacked them. And the cold part about it is, is until now, we didn't know why. We didn't. We thought that everything was whited out. We thought that we were just nomads. We thought we was just uh, uh, just tow up from the flow up, and it just uh, why are we even here on Earth? That was all a, a part a part of 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 the punishment, right? It, 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 man, it's so much happening. Uh, uh, look at this forty third verse say. And the foreigners who reside among you uh, will rise above you higher and higher, but you will sink lower and lower. It's talking about the foreigners that dwell among you. Even, even in the land of captivity, there will be foreigners to come in and, and they're going to they gonna be set up better than you. Yeah, in your neighborhoods, they're the ones that's going to sell you the apple pie or the milk or the eggs or the liquor or the crack pipe. In the zigzags. Yeah, yeah. Somebody else going to move in and set up their stores in your neighborhood. <sighs> even even foreigners. You going to lose. Remember when he said you'll be the head and not the tail? You know what the tail is? The follower. Yeah. Look at the circumstances that uh, uh, we in. Who are we really, y'all? Look at the circumstances we in. The Bible is telling you why. This, that's what this is. The Bible is clearly showing you why. Are y'all with me? 29 verse say, y'all will bring a nation against you from far away, from, from the end of the earth. If you look at a map beyond Babylon, Right from 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 Africa, because that's where Jerusalem is too. They try to pretend like Africa, like the Jerusalem isn't in Africa, and they created the Middle East. The Middle East, where the Middle West at? The, mid, the Middle South. And then, and then they ha they they had a a, a man made Suau. What do you call it? The Suau, that little man made river that they did, the canal right there. So that on the map, they can make it separate from the rest of Africa. That's Africa. They're liars. Right? But, um, I forgot what I was saying. <clears throat> I said what I wanted to say. But look what it say. Uh, 49th verse. And y'all will bring a nation against you from far away, from the end of the earth, like an eagle swooping. Why eagle, y'all? Why eagle? We, we, we just read beyond uh, a Babylon. 
Here we go with eagle with, with, with wings with, with, with eagle wings. In Isaiah eighteen, why, why eagle? Y'all be talking, man. It's it, it be in plain sight right here. Y'all been telling us who we are, been showing us. Y'all will bring a nation against you from far away, from the ends of the earth, like an eagle swooping down, a nation whose language you will not understand, a fierce-looking a, a nation without respect for the old and pity for the young. Like I told y'all before, I tell you again, I watched some cops take a so-called African-American woman, look like she was about 85 between 85 and 90. And she was on a cane and all that. And he just came in the parking lot, picked her up and body slammed her. And, and, and other uh, so-called African Americans was around and they was filming it. And they just, ooh, it just, it shot. It could, in disbelief, it couldn't even do nothing. What, do something and get gunned down? Get killed? It, what do you do? What the heck do you do? The little Tamir, Tamir in an open carry uh, a state where it's illegal to have a gun. He played at a park with a toy gun. Police jumped out and the moment he got out the car, shot that little baby. He was a little baby. And then when his sister ran out because they gunned down her brother, they picked up and body slammed her, put handcuffs on her and put her in the police car. And she was a little girl, a little girl. And they just murdered a little brother. Now, this is where we at, y'all. I will bring a nation against you from uh, far away, from the ends of the earth, like an eagle swooping down, a nation whose language you would not understand, a fierce-looking nation without respect for the old and pity for the young, and they will devour the young of your livestock and your crops and your land until you be destroyed. They're going to steal everything you got. They're robbers. They're thieves, but you're going to be labeled the thief. They're thugs, but you're going to be labeled the thug. Oh, yeah. This is what, this is, this, this, this is what we're facing, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. I want to go back up to 46, just so you know. And they will be a sign and a wonder to you and to your descendants forever. A sign and a wonder. People are going to be wondering what the heck is going on. You're going to be wondering. I've seen some so-called African-American young uh, uh, ladies like on, on Instagram saying, why is this happening to us? That's the one. That's what. That's exactly what he said. And there will be a sign and a wonder to you. You're going to be wondering why is this all happening to us? What did we do wrong? We're going to be thinking that. And we're supposed to think that. We're supposed to think that. Because... You should be seeking to find out why. And when you find out why, you're going to have a Bible in your hand. When you find out why, you're going to have a Bible in your hand. The word is going to be finally rightfully divided. It's not going to be from this Catholicized church. Because you ain't learned this in church. Church ain't taught you this. The church right now, the ignorant church, they teaching against this. Straight up. The deceived church is teaching against this. Merry Christmas. Happy Easter. They're teaching against this and they're teaching paganism because they are the church. they right. Roman Catholic Church, chip off the old block. Are y'all with me? <clears throat> Let's slide down, y'all. How much time I got? Ooh, I'm out of time. That fast. We, we got to do King James Version. I'm not going to play the game with them right now. I'm I, I really not. So we got to do the, the King James Version because I don't feel like explaining how, how how deceitful they is and try to make it like nobody bought the slaves. Yeah, the, yeah, the slaves was bought. <laughs> Boy, deceived people. What do you do? It's cool, though. So let let me just do this to go faster. <clears throat> Look what it say. 
and Yah will bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Why ships? Bring, bring thee into Egypt again when Egypt is right next door. In fact, how they got from Canaan to Egypt, they walked. When Joseph was in Egypt, he sent for his father in the house, they walked straight, straight into uh, Egypt from Canaan. The reason why it's going to be by ships is because we talk about another Egypt. We talk about a whole nother Egypt. Are you with me? Mo, what you know? Good to see you in here. Is y'all with me? A whole nother Egypt. A whole nother Egypt that's going to take a ship to get you there. Uh-huh. A, 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 whole, a whole nother Egypt. Yeah, Isaiah 18, woe to the land shadowing with wings. Here we go with the eagle again, wings, y'all, which is beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. And the rivers of Ethiopia is the Atlantic Ocean. That's why I say, pull up the map and look at the Ethiopian Ocean and you're going to find out they changed the name to the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, Isaiah 18 and 1, woe to the land shadowing with wings. Wings of what, the eagle? which is beyond the rivers of Ethiopia that send ambassadors by sea, even in vessels of, of bulrushes upon the waters, ships on the waters. That's how the children of Israel ended up in the daughter of Babylon, in this new Egypt. Look on the back of the dollar. You'll see Egyptian pyramid. And you go, how are you going to get there? You're going to get shipped there. Why? Because you cross Yob. How long are you going to serve there? Y'all remember the dream? 400 years. From 1619 to 2019. And then Trump said the African American has been here for 400 years. We knew that already anyway. But he solidified it. For 400 years. And right after that, in, in, in Acts 7 and in, 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 in Genesis 15, the most I say, after they served the 400 years, I'm going to judge the nations. And nation is plural. He judging every nation on earth that enslaved his people, especially the host, the one with wings of an eagle, the Americas. And right after 2019, the whole world got locked in their houses because judgment is here. Straight up. Because judgment is here. And now it's time uh, for us to table it right here. Because I got to go. We'll pick it up again. Y'all permit uh, tomorrow morning. If you learn something, put a foe in here. If you learn something, put a foe in here. If you learn, then put a foe in here. <laughs> I'm glad it's 400, huh? <laughs> I, I hear you, Falcon. Oh, judgment is here, Falcon. The judgment is here. If you learn something, put a foe in here. If you learn something, put a foe in here. We're going to keep learning, too. Who the people? <laughs> we the people. Talk back to me. Who are we? Part two. We'll pick it up tomorrow. Y'all permit. But it's all about us repenting, coming back to him. We got to come back, y'all. I'm going to teach it tomorrow, but we got to come back. I plan to teach it tomorrow, y'all permit. The, the key is he's revealing who we are so we can repent. You're not a thug. You're not a thought. You're not a gangster. You're a child of Yah. Ain't no replacement theology, but we're going to deal with it. Ain't no, the church didn't replace you. The, the new covenant was made with Israel. And, 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 and foreigners still can join. It is not like the door is closed to foreigners. They got to repent. Those that dogged us out, they children got to be apologetic to us for what their forefathers did to us. Like we got to be apologetic to Yah for what our forefathers did to him. They can't come with that attitude. It don't matter. It wasn't me and all that. 
It wasn't me that, that said, give, him, give us a uh, Barabbas, crucify him. I didn't say that. My forefathers did. We paid for it. It wasn't me that that, that set up a Molech in, 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 in the wilderness. They did that. But because of that, he said, man, I'm scattering you. I'm, I'm sending you beyond Babylon in ships. And it ain't going to be the love boat. You going to get on the boat and it ain't going to be the love boat. I didn't do that. So you can't, so other nations can't act like they, they free from what they forefathers did and they benefited from it too. And they still is. And a whole lot of folks still hate us, still prejudiced. Talk back to me. Still couldn't imagine a serving, a a a a a a, a, a black skinned, brown skinned uh, Messiah from Africa. And when they reject them, then they get the paycheck. You can't, you can't love y'all hate his children. But we'll pick it up. Y'all want me to put, put, put five on it. Put five on it. Anybody need prayer, put one in here. Put five on it. Anybody need prayer, put a one on it. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Anybody uh, having received the most high, want to see for the first time, put a two. Anybody that have not received the most high, uh, yet, but would like to right now repent for all your sins and receive him as master of your life, put a two. Hallelujah. Everybody else put a one so we can pray. Hallelujah. Put a two of you receiving it for the first time. I want to pray you on in to the family of Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Spirit of living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity coming for you. Humbly as you know how I glean in the truth of thy word. Thy word is truth. Continue to illuminate your children, quicken us, pull us closer to you, give us a heart of repentance, even our children. Yeah, even our children, our children's children. We need to all come before you and repent. Hallelujah, who a judgment is here. Party's over, oops, out of time. We happy. Deliver your children from these wicked people. Deliver your children from these wicked people. We turn to you. Rescue your children. We're calling on your name. Continue to give us revelation concerning more of your truth. For we need you desperately in these last and evil days. Whoever join us, save them too. According to Romans 11 chapter, for we need you. We believe you. We trust you even for the salvation. Who can neglect so great a salvation than this? <clears throat> we can and we won't. Don't want to. We bow down to you. Save us. In the master's name of Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Amon, that was a lesson for the day. I pray we all continue to obey everything the most I say. Okay? Okay. Thank everybody that's pushed the share button. You're sharing your platforms with the truth of the word. Thank everybody that tag. You say, come on in. Y'all be tagging? Who be tagging? The ministry should be growing. Y'all get your tag game up. Invite people in. Thank everybody that tag. Thank everybody that financially supports this ministry. Yeah, you should sow where you grow. If you grow here, sow here. If you're not growing, I understand why you're not sowing. Y'all want to talk about the lesson? 302-202-1102, extension 815648. 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Love y'all. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Y'all be Baruch and Baruch. Shalom, I'm gone.